Sacramento Low Country mayors are going to hold a news conference today to talk about an executive order that's expected to be signed today by President Trump. It's all about offshore drilling. The meeting will be held at the Charleston Maritime Center, and that's where we find News 2's Colby Thielen this morning. And Colby, this executive order, in effect, could open up our shelf waters to drilling. That's right. This order is really aimed at rolling back those Obama era regulations about drilling sites, specifically the Atlantic and the Arctic Ocean. And while we're not positive what those leaders are going to be talking about specifically here today, it's likely that it won't be in favor of this new executive order. The current five year plan, which was finalized by the Obama administration last year, prevents offshore drilling along the South Carolina coast. Today's executive order will direct the Department of the Interior to look into potential locations to open up drilling. According to the New York Times, Department Secretary Ryan Zinke told reporters yesterday that if there's a usable area with resources and the local community and states are okay with it, it could be included in the next five-year plan. Several low country leaders and environmental activists have spoken out before, insisting that drilling could have a negative effect on tourism and fishing in the Charleston area. At today's press conference, Charleston Mayor John Tecklenburg, Isle of Palms Mayor Dick Cronin, and Sullivan's Island Mayor Pat O'Neill will speak alongside members of the Coastal Conservation League, Conservation Voters of South Carolina, and the Southern Alliance for Clean Energy. The conference will begin at 2 p.m. And Secretary Zinke also says that the Department of the Interior will be in charge of the 1.7 billion acres of, off of uh, continental shelf, which they believe includes about 90 million barrels of undiscovered oil. He says it's the next step in America becoming energy independent. Live at the docks of the Charleston Maritime Center, Colby Thielen, News 2.